Room 442 is brought to you by North Star Bets. That's a win. Well, it's Monday, it's Charmin, it's Vitanian, it's Peraria. Great weekend of football, of course. Uh, on the pitch, great goals, eye-catching results. Off the pitch, the usual crap, of course. We'll get to a few of them right now in our headlines segment. Um, Roberto Mancini's got a new job, by the way. We, we wondered why he would quit Italy when he did. Well, now we know. He's a new Saudi Arabia manager, but doing it for the football, of course, not for the paycheck. Uh, the Daily Mail uh, says... Puppet master Madison ran the show for Tottenham's entertainers against Bournemouth. The £45 million midfielder is an early candidate for signing of the summer. I want to hear from Buddy Bassett about that. <laughs> the Mirror. Oh, yeah, Luis Ru- Rubiales. Remember him? It continues. Um, the latest is his mother has locked herself in a church on a <laughs> hunger strike <laughs> in protest against the witch hunt. We shouldn't be laughing. It's just sad. Uh, Leo Messi will miss at least three games this season with Inter Miami. His coach says, after, of course, coming off the bench and scoring this past weekend again. And what about his former club, Barcelona? They're in the hands of a 16-year-old. God. Yes. All right, let's quickly start with Rubiales. Mm. Um, the latest is that he, he still hasn't been officially fired, per se. He's been suspended by FIFA. There's another big, big meeting this week with the Spanish Federation. Um, but the, the story today is his mother, who's backing her boy. And, and is refusing to eat. I'm not sure how long it will last. Um, the fast, little play on words there. Nice, well you, done. You can only just roll your eyes and laugh at this point. This is becoming an absolute farce, isn't it? Should I feel guilty for laughing? I just find it hilarious. There's nothing like a mother's love, clearly. <laughs> but this is, what are we doing here? This is getting know. crazy. I mean, I get it. You know, you gotta back your son, but this is taking on a life of its own. I mentioned to you guys off the air, I can't wait for this to be over with. Like just just finish this off. Get rid of this guy. If you go through the timeline, his 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 history with Spain, it's nothing but issues. Yeah. Okay, he's brought in a lot of revenue for the federation. Okay, I give him that. But then there's accusations of him assaulting somebody way back when, an architect that he wasn't found guilty of. There was uh, allegations that he was taking money from the federation to have sex parties. Like on and on and on. It comes to a point well, where that's it, that's money well spent. It, <laughs> sure. If it, hey, if it keeps them relaxed, teach their own. But I think it's time. Like. Spanish Federation needs to end this as soon as possible. Well, what's great is now that uh, the RFEF are being threatened by UEFA that they're going to get kicked out of European football. Oh, that's crazy. UEFA is speaking now? They've uh, actually stood up? Well, allegedly, this is what I'm hearing. Um, <laughs> it's not looking good. The fact that now the football itself is being compromised, saying that Spanish teams cannot compete in European competition. Like, That's how crazy. far are we going to go here? It's affecting the game. Like, this is this is insane. Um, I know you kind of said off air about Hermoso and what is she doing, but she, I don't really feel like it's on her anymore. She came out and said what she needed to say. They got to get rid of this guy. Like, it's so obvious, and it's just causing more and more drama. Like what we're talking about right now, a witch hunt for his mom. Like, this is embarrassing. How are they not just getting rid of this guy? The well, whole the whole coaching staff. There we go. Right, resigned except for one. Oh, who could it be? Jorge Vildas. Yes, who yeah. was offered another four-year deal by oh, sure. Ruby Ellis on Friday as well. <laughs> Perfect. I mean, I, I want this to end, but I kind of don't want it to end as well because you know it's just so preposterous. It is. How, how what what depths can they now sink? This man has to get out of this position. Mm-hmm. Obviously, Spanish Federation know this as well. They're not well. Maybe they are stupid. I'm not sure, but. You would think the next, by the time we finish this recording, in fact, he could be gone. Well, Jorge Vilda also has now turned on his good friend Luis Rubiales, saying that his behavior was inappropriate. All of a sudden, where I'm pretty certain that I saw on Friday when they were all at the meeting and Rubiales was screaming, I'm not going to resign. Vilda was there giving him a good old clap. <laughs> like every hour of the day. This, this is it's a show. Just, no, it is. It's it is. Show. It's becoming like. It's, it's a just... novella. It's a Spanish novella. <laughs> You it's could put crazy. this on Netflix and people would watch it. Yeah. Oh, That's how crazy it is, right? Oh, this is you know, horrible. I'm not making fun of the whole situation. No one should be doing what he did. But this is insane. It's insane, yeah. It, and it really how is. long um, was was the World Cup when even talked about? For no, like it wasn't. an hour? That's what's and then it was, oh, look what this guy did. So sad about yeah. this whole thing is that this should be a celebration. They should still be celebrating and being glorified. Massive achievement. Right. But but the whole world is talking about this incident, which has now blown up into something far bigger yeah. as, as well. And here we are talking about it. So What's with the, like, the these, these bald-headed suits in football <laughs> that are just insane? Am I wrong? <laughs> well, it's well, Gianni Infantino. <laughs> it's a valid point. Yeah, that's the only one I think of. I'm saying multiple. Well, I guess those two. 
Anyone else? Are, you they, think are they trying to make up for something? Now, Pep's kind of crazy, but we love. He's Pep. crazy. We yeah. love Pep. Yeah, yeah, we love yeah. 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 Um, all right, let's move on. <laughs> Harry Kane um, has hair at the moment. Harry Kane uh, playing Ooh. a second game. I know he's uh, dead I don't to know you. What you're talking about. He scores two goals for Bayern Munich yeah. this weekend, Sarah. Um, Alfonso Davis with another assist uh, as well. Mm. Um, it, it's going pretty well, and he's actually getting really with the times now. It is Harry Kane. He, he's all over social media. Have you seen this? Yes. Okay, we'll, we'll play this for the audience. Hi guys, uh, just got back from my first Bundesliga home game. Uh, great game today to to obviously score two goals in front of you fans was a was a special feeling. So um, yeah, feeling good. You know, lots of improvement still to come. Uh, but to start the season with two wins is obviously uh, a really great start. So uh, thanks for your support as always. You know, I uh, appreciate every single. One of you there in the in the stadium singing my name. So um, yeah, look forward to next week. Now recover well, uh, and let's keep it going. Has it come to this now though that you need to address your fans on social media after a great performance and after a bad performance, you must apologise as well? Is this where we're at now? Well, it's happened this? for a while, right? Yeah, I mean, I think some players are into it. Some players still, we like they they don't have a big social media presence. Like we've known that. Like Messi, for example, he's not running that at all. Like everything <laughs> that goes on, you can just tell. Like yeah. it's not really him. But I mean, listen, if if Kane feels good about it and. Germany especially I feel like their fan base like they are so intertwined with their teams I think it's it's not a bad move for him and it also isn't that crazy of a video right he's standing here 30 oh, yeah. seconds ah oh, we did well thanks bye whatever it's like, almost it, like he's doing it just to do it yeah, right? yeah yeah but listen like I think the bigger story is yeah Kane getting off to a brilliant start at Bayern Munich and like doing everything that we expected him to that he was capable at Tottenham but now he's getting the service he has those players and it's it's looking spooky if you're not liking a buy. If I, like for me as a Barca fan, I'm 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 scared. I'm yeah, scared. But European glory may be around the corner for, yeah, it's for not Harry. That, it's not that surprising to see what he's doing. He's been doing it for so long, and mm -hmm. now he just has a fantastic cast yeah. around him. Look at what's that front four? You have Neo Nabry, you have uh, Kingsley Coleman. You know, Muller's coming off the bench. Yeah, you have crazy. Alfonso Davies feeding you balls in. It's Obviously, incredible. he's so prolific from the spot. It's not yeah, so, he's going to dominate that league, but let's not go crazy and think that Bayern Munich are going to win the Champions League. Did you hear his? Wife's having a child. Number son. four. Yeah, number four, but she'll be having it in London. So all the German fans out there, settle I, down. I thought he's he had English. a son after his first game. He scored his first goal for Bayern Munich like two weeks ago, and then he had his oh, first. Oh, yes, maybe. I think that's right, what but, it was. And it was in London, though. It wasn't in, oh. in Munich. Oh, it was though, in London. Right? The talk was if he was born in, I think Henry, his name is, if he was born in, in Germany, would he then qualify to play for oh, Germany? And of course he would. Ah. But he'd be growing up, though, in Munich. He could still qualify and break England's heart. Because he's going to be a centre forward, right? Yeah. Well, he's you would think so. Tons of you would think that he would be. <laughs> the, the joke I saw going around, because he, he obviously had a son, was that uh, Kane can't go that long without a son anywhere. Oh, that's <laughs> oh, great. That's good. That's, that's great. Good. By the way, son captain now, Spurs. Yes. Love. Vice captain? James Madison, Christian Romero. Here Who's more popular right now? Is, is it James Madison or Ange Postacoglu at Spurs? Oh, right man. Big Ange. Uh, big Ange. Oh. Yeah. I'm in love with this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I wish he was my dad. Catch up like six weeks from no, now, no, no. Albert. I absolutely hate you know, him. Watching once, you probably, once they listen, start falling apart. Yeah, I know you guys have, but watching Spurs for the past four or five years, it's been brutal. Mm -hmm. Like they'd win and you're not really that happy about it. Now it's like, I even told you this. I'm like, if they lose, I'm not even that upset because of the way that they're playing. It's so exciting. It's so attacking. Making so many passes in the final third. James Madison... He looks like somebody who's played for Spurs forever. He's just made for that club the way he is, the way he talks about, the way he plays. So all good at Spurs right now, but Big Ange by far is <laughs> is beloved. To the point where there's a chant talking about Pochettino is dead. And yeah, he was over the past, I don't know, two decades, I don't think there's more of a, a love Spurs manager than Pochettino. Three games? Three games, Three yeah. Games. Yeah. 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 Yeah, perfect. But, but, season but no, other than I think everybody <laughs> except Spurs fans – are tempering their expectations. They're mm. not going to finish in the top four. There's going to be bumps in the road. They're going to get smashed here and there. It's going to happen. There will be adversity, of course. Of course. But and I just think about watch it. the way they're playing, though. It's so it, different, it's like you exactly said. It's, and it's just fun to watch. Yeah. I think okay. Spurs fans will take, not mediocrity, but they'll take a little bit of adversity if they're still playing good football. Yeah. That's what Spurs yeah. want. Because we're we're early days, and we're, we're speaking hypothetically. Oh, here we go. What would happen if Spurs won let's say anything, FA Cup, Prem, Champions League, dare I say, what is the narrative then between Spurs and Harry Kane? Like, how would you feel as a Spurs fan? Obviously, over the moon, a trophy, but knowing that your best player maybe ever in the club's history 
left and does not get that glory. How would I feel about that? Well, like, is there... Like, how would I feel for Harry do you, Kane? Do you think Harry Kane would just lock himself in a closet and just, you know, like, he's shit? <laughs> but like the Monte Rosen, right? Leaves yeah. the Raptors and they win oh. the championship. I mean, how Spurs would it be for them to win a trophy It'd without Harry so Kane? so Spurs. Right? So it's probably going to happen. Yeah. Could be enough Maybe not with Richarlison playing up front. Sorry, your favorite player. I love Richarlison, but yeah, he's going to need some time. But <laughs> yeah, if, if Spurs won without Kane, we'd be happy. No, I know you'd be happy. I'm just thinking more about, like, Harry Kane's perspective. Like, oh, my God, you leave. And we know you're the best player at that team, but then... The team wins. Well, also, pr- also pretty likely, also pretty likely <laughs> that honest. that Kane wins a trophy too. Yes, yes. a major yes. one. Well, that's perfect. Isn't that a perfect situation? Harry so. leaves, gets his dream, goes to one of the biggest clubs in the world, wins the championship there. Meanwhile, Spurs, without their savior, <laughs> yeah. win win a, a trophy. It'd mm. be it'd be nice, I yeah. think. Because I think Spurs fans, you still love Harry Kane, don't you? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Until <laughs> but like, you're in a Champions League final. I hate him, but you love him. But you love him. Yeah, yeah. I, I you, always the same you. way you, you, you hate Pochettino, but you love Pochettino. Exactly. Very similar. The same way. Mm. I hate him a lot more. You know, to Chelsea. <laughs> Can't go to Chelsea. I'm just amazing how no, I do. Spurs the fans are, chatting for his, <laughs> he's dead to them now. Spurs are so fun great. to watch right now. They're young. They have so many good players. You messaged me about, you know, Destiny Odogi, oh, that left back. He's like, insane. He's like he came out of nowhere. So they fun. signed him last season, and then he comes in, and he's spectacular, right? Yeah. Middle of the park, Basuma. So all good at Spurs right now, for now. Uh, all good at Inter Miami as well. Oof. Hey, hey. So, so they did rest Leo. Off he comes. Just for a bit. From the bench. Last minute. And then he scores one of the best goals y- I, you're likely... Can. I'm not going to see ever going to see. The, on, the, Charles, the commentators have got no, really out of here, hand. Listen, oh, this this is, is, was, no, listen. This stop pass it. right here. That turn was then, a violation. He just defend- went into this man's dreams and crushed them all. Like, that was what disgusting. What are the defenders doing, though? Ball watching. They're like, how did, they, how did he make that pass? I love this game. <laughs> I mean, it's an incredible <laughs> pass. Yeah, it was. But they switch off, and he just wanders through and taps it in. It was amazing to watch. Oh, it, was, it really was. It was MLS special. defending, Charms. That's what you get. Maybe. Listen, how about the, the in terms of sports betting, the absolute lock right now is Messi's score. Anytime. Yeah. They play Wednesday, right? Wait, all but one game, right? He yeah. scored? One yeah. game. And he got two assists in that and game. And two assists in that game, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's incredible, though. himself. But yeah. sorry, the news was that I think you said that he's going to be missing uh, three games, according to Tata Martino. Yeah, Wednesday against Nashville, the team that they beat in the finals, by the mm-hmm. way. Um, back at Drive Pink. But I was looking around for that that news, and I'm not seeing it much. Is it? It's of course international duty. Oh, for Argentina. So yeah. he can miss as many as three games. Yeah. Oh, perfect. With international, which, which it's not just him. It's numerous players around MLS. Is what happens. They yeah. don't shut the league down, right? So if, again, if you paid lots of money for a ticket to see Leo play over the international break serves your freaking right yeah. Yeah, so I laugh in your right. face look at the schedule well, well okay I'm curious though who they'll be playing during those three games because Busi and Alba no longer play on Spain so they'll be there is uh, is Taylor gonna be I don't know does Called he play up? for no. Finland okay perfect even better well, maybe, maybe no no he does no Robert Taylor definitely does play for Finland uh, he should yeah, yeah. not with a name like Robert Taylor why yeah, not? love that. Robert, Robert Taylor shouldn't be playing the Finland. Taylorson. Big Bob Taylor, I love him. Man. <laughs> yeah, he's been great. Yeah, well, interesting. Okay. But um, like, can we just? Everyone really needs to calm down with this Inter Miami winning MLS Cup. It's not going to I'm happen. I'm with you 100. percent It is not going to happen. 11. If it does back? happen, dude, Honestly, I got to do something. Nuts. Never, it's I got to do something. Hey, if, I might if, get Messi's face tattooed. If they do it, <laughs> it'd be one of the great sporting stories ever. Ever, ever. ever. I even think if they win this U.S. Open Cup. It is still a massive story. Yeah. That's still though a couple of games, right? Still yeah. a massive story. I agree. Two, two trophies. They won League's Cup. I mean, yeah. But to, to get back from 14 points back of a playoff spot, hey, that's listen, crazy. To win the whole I thing. I think they need so to I, hit. I think minimum needs to be like 47 points or something, which is about two and a half points per game. But yeah. like we discussed on Friday, you need the teams above you to lose <laughs> as well. True. Which isn't that easy? Quick update in uh, the MLS. I know MLS, exactly what you're going to say. Go in ahead. the MLS standings, <laughs> Inter Miami go from bottom of the table to second from the bottom because who's in last? That's right, it's Toronto FC. I thought Colorado was Colorado <laughs> overall in the, in the whole in the whole league though. No, this is in the Eastern. This is what I said. Yeah, in yeah, the Eastern. Okay, yeah. Overall though. Overall, uh, wait, TFC let me see. Is no, worst. TFC and Colorado are tied mm. both with 19 scored. points, and they both have minus 18. Yeah. Oh my god, imagine a goal differential of minus 18. Jeez Louise. Yeah, not, not it's great goals to see this weekend right for now. TFC no. either. Oh, shocking. Um, Barcelona. Hello. 16 year old wonder kid. Lamina Mall. Guys. It's not fair. It's we not create fair. They keep unearthing these gems. How many Wii's are you going to mention in one show? It's you got in Argentina, my blood. Got, it's in Miami, my you got Barcelona. blood. It's in my blood. No, you know, this is. Anybody who plays no, Liverpool? No, but. Uh, <laughs> 
he was fantastic. I, I know you guys probably didn't watch the match, but like he has been given so much conf- confidence, sorry, from Xavi, who wasn't even able to be on the pitch side, obviously, from that sanction he received. But it is so just outstanding to see this young play. You see young players and it's always, you never know what you're going to get, but I, I, I'm loving it. He was absolutely the man of the match in that game. So much service, breaking Villarreal defenders' legs. Like, it was just, uh, I loved it, especially because Pedri is now out for up to six weeks. Yeah, that's bad news. That's is he becoming a little bit injury prone, isn't he? It seems. I think, I'm wondering lot. if, yes, yes, maybe, but I'm wondering if it is because he is also still younger still physically developing and then playing so much football I'm wondering if there's like a correlation there because we are seeing so many players get injured but also imagine you're still not like at your proper size yet mm-hmm. I don't know we'll see Araujo is also injured so having someone like this come in I mean it's 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 brilliant 16 years old starting La Liga games he almost had that goal he would have been the youngest player ever to score in La Liga I'm sure it'll be coming there's soon, only so but... much pressure on these kids like 16, but to that's really why pan out. to see you do Who was well? the last one of the last ones for Barcelona Barcelona, was it? Fati. No, but I'm going way back, like oh. Giovanni dos Santos. Oh, you remember that? Gio he was supposed and, uh, to be the, the, the next. Jonathan. I don't know what they were probably comparing the, him to Messi. Yeah, didn't Gio really had a decent career, but didn't really pan out. Yeah. I just feel like when you're 16, you're playing for Barcelona. That's that. There's so much going on there. Your expectations what? are 16, almost unattainable. What were you doing? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't answer that. No, question. No, 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 no. Come on, what's wrong with you? What the hell was I doing at 16? Going I wasn't, do, I wasn't doing much. Yeah, I was driving my 1991 uh, sedan Civic. You know, oh, nice. Cruising the streets. I was moving over to Canada trying to rebuild my broken life. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> it's not true. I was moving to Canada, though. <laughs> broken life. I want to know about post-Canada <laughs> charms. I need to know these things. Yeah, oh, no. The, the, the pre-Canada charms were magnificent. And all oh, I'd downhill. love to. Pre-Canada, Pre-Canada, sorry, Pre-Canada not post, would yeah. be unreal. I've got some pictures somewhere. Oh, yeah. yeah bring them out. Rocking the long hair. Let's do it. Perfect. Oh, yeah. yeah. Nice. That's right. With your Ramones t-shirt? Ramones, not that old. Um, very quickly, Mancini as coach of Saudi uh, Arabia. Yeah. Initial thoughts? Uh, just, just, just nothing surprises me anymore. I feel like it is. What you seem it is. disappointed. I, I just, I, I can't like the Saudi Arabian. League, I'm just so sick of it. But, like, it won't go away. It, this Saudi is Arabia. the national team. Saying, I know, I know. I just don't want to hear about it. I'm so sick of. They beat Argentina in the there. World Cup. I mean, don't they forget, did. No, and team. I mean, but they had um, what's his name. The French guy. Herve Renard. Herve Renard. Yeah. He was a good coach, too. So let's mm-hmm. see what Mancini can do. Obviously, yeah, like you said, they beat Argentina. They do have some talent there. They're paying their way to get into everything. I'm joking, maybe. But you know what I mean? Like, we, we know they're going to be probably hosting the 2030 World Cup. So they're going to be they're gonna be present for a while. Now they have a coach who's actually extremely experienced in Mancini. We'll see what he can do. Yeah, just the uh, $27 million per year. Oh. Just that. Mancini. Yeah. Good yeah. for him. He said that, that the Italian Federation treated him as the monster of Fiorentina. Jesus. That's what he said. Or not Fiorentina, Florence, excuse oh, Florence. me. Florence, yeah. yeah really. The monster of Florence. Then he was, then Huspaletti took over, right? Yeah, he did. Remember really we talked about yeah, a lot if he was going to leave and he ended up, he ended up leaving. Yeah, out. and he's going to take some time off and he yeah. gets the Italian job straight away. Good for Mancini, whatever. Hey, listen. Hey, good for him. And when he do. says, though, he's looking forward to spreading, you know, Italian culture around the world, that's kind of the reason. No. Just, I, just one person, yeah. just please say, you know what? Have you seen how much money they're paying me? 27 mil. How can I say mil? no to that? Right, That's just nice. I, I respect that. Fair enough. Be That's honest. One person can say that. I'd be happy. Yeah, one. Yeah, I think so. All this footballing project, shut up. One did say it. Oriani Galu said it. That's right. Yeah, he yeah. was the only one, and he's been there for a little while too. Mercenary. Good for him. <laughs> There's a vid we missed. Hmm? We got a video of Mancini. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Oh, you got to see this video. <laughs> okay, you seen this video? No. Oh, good point. Okay, can you play this video. <laughs> in Europe. Now it's time to make a history with Saudi.
most interesting man in the world. I'll give it to him. He's sharp. He is sharp. He's a sharp he looks that, good there. Yeah, them playing the uh, the Italian commentator at the beginning. Siamo, siamo. <laughs> like, we're the champions of Europe when they beat England. Oh, James, send shivers down your spine. Oh, yeah, yeah. My, my <laughs> spine is shivering. That's for sure. <laughs> Room 442 is brought to you by North Star Bets. That's a win.